Hello and thank you for jo watching this video of the new features on the Owns on the Air website. The home page contains many of the features you are already used to. We have the island news, a list of activations currently expected, and some of the exports coming in live from the DX cluster. We also have on the Program Information tab the other features you are used to, including searches for IOTA groups, whether they're most wanted, you can search by continent or DXCC entity, or even by Maidenhead Locator Square. We've also improved the island name searches. If you go to this link, you can get to see results as you are typing. If you use this search box on the right hand side, you, it enables you to type in my name and even if you make a spelling mistake, the answer could still come back. Other features on the program information tab include searches for IOTDX bots and you can also search for groups currently in the grey line. We also have the on roll available and I shall talk more about this in a moment. The activations tab is where you can find out about activations currently or expected or expected in the near future and also tell us about your own activations. Most of the interesting stuff on the site however you need to log in for. This is how you get to interact with your own score and your own IOTA credits. To get a password, first thing you need to do is to click the register new user link and enter your call sign. Now the next step will depend on what type of user you are. If you already participate in IOTA and you already have at least 100 QSOs and an IOTA certificate, you will get a screen like this. On this screen, you need to give the call signs that you worked for two QSOs which have been randomly selected. And you will also need to give the number of the IOTA certificate which you are asked to give the number of. If you do not have a current IOTA uh, certificate or award, or do not have 100 QSOs or more, you will get instead a link checkpoint will send you your password once you click that link. If you are not known to IOTA at all, you will instead get a registration form, which will be partly already populated from your data on QRZ.com, and you will instead be able to request a password from your checkpoint that way. However, we now have been allocated the password, and so we just need to go back to the home page, and we should be able to log in. You will notice that we now have a new My Credits tag at the top of the screen, now that we have logged in. If we click this, you can now see all of your current QSOs. You have 211 total QSOs confirmed so far. None of them are on VHF. And you also have some QSOs which count for the Arctic and British Islands Award. By clicking the all, View All QSOs link, you can see all the details of all of those QSOs. Note that the UTC column is currently showing zero for all of these QSOs. This is because IOTA does not currently capture the required data to know what time the QSO was. We will be able to fill this in in the future, however. If we return to the My Credits tab, one of the first things that current IOTA participants will probably want to do is to import an IOTA mem file. IOTMEM, the current software for keeping track of your score, is going to be stopped with this new system. 
So it's very important that one of the first things you do is to make sure your records are synchronized so that we do not have any out-of-date data on the system. All you need to do is simply to upload your IOTMM update file to the software. Because we now capture more data than IOTMM has ever caught in the past, you will now be required to fill in dates, times, bands, modes and the island name for every one of the QSOs in the IOTMM file which isn't already known to the system. Once you've done that, just click Submit. Your QSOs will be briefly validated and you will receive back any warnings that have, be, have occurred or any errors that occurred with the update. In this case, we've received back an error that the DX call sign does not seem to match the DXCC entity number of this group. In other words, what we have got now is the ability to give you lots more information about your claim and to check your claim much more thoroughly than we previously used to be able to do and so you should have fewer problems once you sent your cards to your checkpoint. If we go back now to the My Credits tab, you'll see that we now have another eight pending QSOs, which were not previously there.